That's, that's gross. <laughs> I just worry, Walt. I worry. You worry about what? What, what are we worried I, about again? I, Brian Johnson admits he's a bitter asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Internet approves. <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him, Steve, Dave with BQ, with WF, with BJ. Initials that um, yeah didn't really haunt me as much as you would think. The BJ? Yeah. Like maybe a couple times in grade school, but really not like... Yeah, I will say this. We have pretty sophomoric humor at times, and I've never latched onto it over no. the years that we've been friends. No. Who doesn't love blowjobs? Why would that even be a... Yeah, but like that's a compliment. Yeah. Associating me with blowjobs? <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love a good blowjob? I don't know. Everybody from Charlie I mean, who Manson. Doesn't, who, who doesn't love like, like a mediocre blowjob, right? Yeah, mediocre. I don't like a bad one. No. Keep that shit to yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't need that. Take it on the arches. Two Hit the brakes. Shit. Nobody needs you. Get out of here. 48, man. You're 48? 48. Yeah. I was doing the formula the other day. What's this formula? Well, the formula is you take half your age and you add seven. Okay. And it occurred to me that I'm now relegated to fucking girls that are 31 and up. That's, That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you take a guy as good looking as me who can pass for like 25, 26. <laughs> I will say this. Your, your haircut's looking fucking good, bro. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, thank you. What is that formula? That, that formula doesn't make sense. You never heard that formula? It's like, hey, you take your half your age. And right. You, if you're a guy, you take half your age and you had seven. And All right. So that's I'm, the youngest woman that you should be with sexually. So I'm going to be 40. Right. So, so 27? 27, yeah. But that's not... That's not accurate at all. I'm not allowed to have sex with girls out of 25, 22 even. I mean, if you're going to abide by the formula. Uh, that formula sounds like fucking bullshit for me. It could be, you know, outdated. I don't know. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean. <laughs> but I'm so young. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, at the same time, to find anyone, even 30, that is, wouldn't be completely repulsed. It would be tough. Anyone in their 20s would be like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, you're, you're yeah. disgusting. I don't even, uh, you know, what, you got to talk to him first? Or are you just talking just like sex? If you got to talk with him, you don't want to talk to well, him. Well, maybe you negotiate a price. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't know. All right. 31's a good age, dude. Yeah, 31's I think, I, and I may get in trouble with some of the younger members of the Tell Him Steve Dave audience for this, but I think 30, 30s, 40s are like, that's where it's at. Well, here's the thing, like thir 30s into the 40s, even late 20s, if, if you know, somebody's intelligent enough, it's yeah. like, well, you like to talk to them. Like, yeah. it, it, like, given the opportunity to spend time with like an 18, 19, 20 year old, you'd probably put a bullet in your head. Yeah. We're not, not given the opportunity, but forced into the situation. Well, ongoing. I, you, I've had yeah. plenty of conversations with kids that are like, this, they're cool. Really? Yeah. They're not like, fuck you and your white privilege. Pay your taxes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I saw some carolers, Walt, when I was on my way here. A fairly good-sized group of, I don't know, maybe 20. They were right out in front of the Dublin house. Yeah. And they were all easily like 55 plus. Do you see yourself ever caroling? I don't have the voice to be a Christmas caroler, I don't think. I don't think it. You might get carried, though. I heard you had a beautiful voice that on that one Christmas special. <laughs> 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 um, I've never been attracted to singing. 
No, no, certainly not caroling. Uh, no, I don't. I don't see anything. I don't see. I don't think that you would notice the age of a caroler. I think that's a little weird that you were like <laughs> that. You you noticed the age of of Christmas carolers. Well, everybody had white hair. I mean, it was hard not. <laughs> Are to you sure? Were they trying to? Were they look supposed to look like Santa? So the, the women, the guys, like everybody. No, they, they, they look like a group. Like maybe they were like a church choir or something perhaps. And now they're taking their skills out to the streets. Well, if you're into caroling, um, this is the only time of the year you get to you get to go around and, and do it without being without people, you know, being annoyed or well, not necessarily. You, yeah, the shit out you of would me. think you would think you could do it with. What annoys you? I hate Christmas carols. I hate Christmas music. I, I when I was in Rite Aid, Ow. I was in Rite Aid the other day, and all I could think of was like, we don't need another fucking version of like rocking around the Christmas tree. Says you. Says yeah. me. Yeah, it's just totally my opinion. Mm-hmm. What was the, what's the last great Christmas song made? Uh, my kids would say the George Michael song. Step into Christmas? No, it's um, I forget what it's called, but it's a it's I had never heard it before, and they liked it when it kept coming on, and I was like, it was so to me, it was a very recent addition to the oh. Christmas classic. I can't remember what it's called, but um, oh, uh, you know what, um, Christmas and Hollis. Okay. Good one. Yeah. I would argue that Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas for You is a classic. I mean, it's got to be 20 years old now. Yeah. I can't believe we're talking about fucking Christmas stuff. And yeah. we had a Christmas special and didn't mention it once. Did we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because everybody fucking hated it. <laughs> and Oh, my God, dude. I got emails. Did you really? You got emails? I, I got emails. I, got... I looked on Twitter, and I have to say, universally, people really seem to enjoy it. Twitter loved it. Universally? Reddit hated it. Oh, Reddit did? Reddit did. Yeah, I don't look. Universally is a word you should not use yeah. regarding On this. Reddit, if you said you liked it, people <laughs> can't ask you. Really? Yeah. Um, I got an email stating. <laughs> to the Let's hear some of the problems. <laughs> to the effect okay. of, dear, tell them, Steve, Dave, I look forward to only one thing at Christmas time to put me in the Christmas mood. The tell them, Steve, Dave Christmas special. Without fail in years past, it has been able to... Make me enjoy the holidays where nothing else could. Mm-hmm. So far, universally beloved. <laughs> but this year's lack of Christmas um, content really was both shocking and disappointing. Shocking. You you ruined Christmas, but I still love you. <laughs> ruined Christmas. <laughs> that's, uh, a real lot of that's a real email. <laughs> Wow. I thought it was a solid episode. I remember walking away being like, God, oh, that turned out good. Yeah. Roller roll was like the fucking greatest thing. Universally beloved. I don't know how people it was, roll, it was, roll. yeah. I think that, um, roller roll, roll. I think also on Twitter, I think that, um, there's a lot less real, um, feelings. I think that there's a lot more people who are, who are, not going to go out of their way because for fear of being blocked or being or, or right. be, you know from past I can't block anger <laughs> yeah that they're not going to tell you that they didn't like like the Christmas what, special you want to see what Reddit when we read some Reddit ones people were saying some people were saying and and I don't I don't agree with it so I don't care but that I was mean to get them when I forced them on the spot with the with, with the, the Muslim with thing the Muslim but I didn't. I did. Oh, I thought it was funny. It was an obvious poke. Like it was. I, I couldn't imagine that people didn't see for what it was. Right. Like Gidham could have turned around and just been like, "Why don't you go fuck yourself?" Like it would have been fun. Like I don't. I didn't. This get was it. the equivalent of when Pat Boone released a heavy metal. Heavy Chris, metal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tell him Steve Dave doing this was the equivalent. Uh, it was too far outside the box, and. Um, like we want to hear more stories. I mean, how many fucking stories could you have? Well, I, you I to kill the tradition. Do you? Think? I, no, I mean, I came. I had this idea, and I came up with a brand new, so much Christmas content mm-hmm. episode, and I have it ready to roll. It was going to be. We were verbally going to assault the listeners with Christmas content. I mean, it would be stuffing it down your throats till it was yeah. coming out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be like they would have – there was so much – I have so much good Christmas content that next year's is going to be – like I said, you're, you're, you're going to be – you're going to have – you're not going to even – you're, you're going to twinkle. 
for well, for it, months after listening to it. it you said it was too. Uh, some people said it was too Christian themed, huh? Like just too much like Christian stuff. Well, well there was just no Christmas content. There was no talk of Santa, elves, Rudolph, Frosty, and. Well, I'll give you a little talk about elves today because something happened that I wanted to bring up. <laughs> I got some Christmas talk too. We could, right. we could, we could, know. we could save Christmas. Maybe I'm torn. I'm torn. Can why? I tell you why? why? Because one, like, I genuinely want the ants to enjoy the. I want it to be special for them. Right, and it wasn't. And it wasn't. But at the same time, I feel the heart and soul of telling you, Dave, is us just doing what we want, and they're free to take the journey. Well, they're not. They're not free. They pay for it. <laughs> well, they're free not to buy that. But they, they bought it. They bought it and sold that it. it was about Christmas. All right. <laughs> but it was. We we to uh, truthful <laughs> advertising. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I guess. I, I maybe guess maybe we could save a little bit of Christmas. Maybe if we talk a little bit about Christmas on this episode, maybe a little bit on the on any episode we meet before Christmas. Try to try to put, put, inject a little. I guess right. but holiday. Why, uh, why should why should Gettem's religious weird fucking? Why should any like why shouldn't he be questioned? I don't. What? I didn't get it. Why am I mean? Well, would somebody you, said, would you have put said, a, any other minister on the spot like that? Uh, with, the, with that kind of loaded questions that you were sure. asking him? Oh come on, Jay, I mean, well, who's that? Jay Sarge? Who's the crazy guy that was in here? Jay Sarge? No, not Jay Sarge. The other guy. <laughs> Sarge. 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 <laughs> I didn't realize that Jay Sarge is. like, seriously, five years. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I like Jay Sarge. I like Jay Sarge. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big indication no, no, I, of someone. I his name. <laughs> imagine, if, imagine forgetting the guy who provides the music for your pod every week. <laughs> Confusing it with a guy who's been on his show twice. <laughs> yeah, Jay Sarge, Ellie, whatever the fuck that No, is. Jay Sarge, I know. The other guy's name, I got messed fucking... up. <laughs> like I went after him. So he's much not a fucking minister. Get him is an is a bona fide yeah, this, minister. A minister? Yes, he is. No, you can, anybody can go online and sign up for this fucking wackadoo fucking Universal Life Church. I can do that by the time I'm done with this sentence. Have you? That doesn't make you a minister. It does, and yes, it does. He has the card. Oh lord. Why? What? What makes you a minister then? What? What kind well, of? Him's also my friend, right? What? So I'm some, not allowed to. Some would argue that you wouldn't do that. I to, wouldn't to a... get him. Would not no, he wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, he I enjoyed it. We, he enjoyed we, we it. So, so why? Like, it just didn't make sense to me. Then somebody said that when I asked you, remember when we had the uh, the guy here who owns the tarot card shop, the necromancer. Yeah, right. and they were like, "Yeah, this." He put. You his don't remember his name either. No, I don't. But I'm a very busy guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even busy. I don't remember his name. But so, somebody was saying that, like, uh, like when I asked him if he was if he was gay that I didn't think that he was going to say yes and it made the whole pot uncomfortable and I was like for who? I don't know and I was like well first of all I did know he was gay that's why I asked the question he was he blew me right before the show. Yeah, like you don't know. You know what? I will admit, I did not know. Really? And yeah, because your your gaydar is off the charts. Yeah, I got yeah. shocked. Get I, I, was, I didn't realize it either. I didn't. I had no indication. I don't know why you thought that. Yeah, I did. I, he came off. He was saying well, you were sitting closer to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you thought, smell maybe, it on him. No, maybe you thought, maybe you're some footsie under the yeah. poker table. <laughs> <Some notes> being <laughs> yeah. Like people really pick apart things, weird things, and sometimes. especially for. A guy that once you mentioned it, he didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck. Wait, I knew wait, no, wait a minute, but you didn't say it. You weren't like you wait, weren't. Wait, a, are you queer? <laughs> <laughs> you just asked a simple question that yeah. you can ask in 2015. And my follow up was, does that make you more into? I thought it was yeah. a legit question, but one of the same guys that were complaining. It's about not as legit as if you if you if you're a, a minister in the Church of Life. Yeah. And asking them, well, what happens to Muslims? They don't believe what you believe. Gidham. It legit. may not be as legit as – well, you didn't phrase it in the most legitimate way. You put – get him in, in a spot where – You put him in a spot where he only has one answer <laughs> that wouldn't fucking get him. Like, but that's because there is only one answer. I backed him into saying the truth. I thought it was hysterical. Yeah, it was supposed to be funny. I don't know. He was like, I'm going to – I think that's what people like for people that are just like we fucking hate getting and then you fucking put them on the spot and like leave get them alone. <laughs> there is so, there is a there is a, a fraction faction fraction how would you say it? of the audience the yeah. Thomas audience that I'm convinced yeah. there is no right move at this point on the checkerboard well, on I the chessboard there is no right movement. 
for him, except especially. <laughs> I don't read it. Yeah. Oh my lord! Yeah, like you can you could do no right at this point. I don't know why. Uh, has the Teflon completely worn off? Yeah, you, like you, you, yeah, you're, 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 yeah, yeah, you're like a frying pan that was used in the twenties before. <laughs> it has so much like built up I grease. Been seasoned in a while. <laughs> you're, you're like the skillet on the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? I, I mean, you had a good run. Yeah. Yeah, you had a good run where you could have said just about anything, and people were like, oh, that's Bry. People right. are but- tired of hearing about <laughs> the political correct. They don't want to hear it from you anymore. Really? They don't want to hear you talking about. How- they don't want to hear it. But, but he, it, that may be true, but there's also, it feels like no matter what he says, people are angry at it, though. Well, there's one mega cunt on, on Reddit. <laughs> He's a mega cunt, I, and I won't even say his name because I won't give him the satisfaction. But every episode, he's just a cunty fucking cunt, and I want to kick him in the stomach. But I never do. I never do. I'm like, ah, just let him live his life. I don't even know why this guy listens to the fucking show anymore. But uh, yeah, yeah, we take some knocks. Walt does not. Walt is revered as godlike. Well, on the, that on was Reddit. on Twitter, the, the which is it I, should be the guy. Yeah. I, the, <laughs> The guy said something about you being the most open-minded person on the show. I was like, you have got it. Well, because... <laughs> we have image problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, because you, I learned a lesson a long time ago, man. Don't you don't offer too many opinions on anything. <laughs> don't give your true feelings. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. It, um, it, could hurt, it could hurt your... Um, because either way, you're going to you're going to you're going to, you're going to upset one side and the other side that does agree with it. Well, they'll agree with you, but why not just stay right in the middle, then? Yeah. A la Sunday Jeff. Praise be Allah. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Akbar. <laughs> yeah I, that's just not my way. So I guess Reddit's gonna not uh, like me. You could win him back. All right, it's an, okay. it will be an uphill battle. <laughs> I don't think so. I just think he start. He just needs to. Um... Well, I disagreed with the way that Quinn treated uh, get him. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't. You can't be. You can't say it right on the heels of saying you thought it was funny. <laughs> you've, you've got to make it sound genuine, okay. like I have for the last couple of years. Right. Okay. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta... You I... notice I stopped talking about San Francisco. <laughs> you notice that I stopped talking about um, I stopped talking about breastfeeding in public. Right. Yeah. I did keep talk, stop talk, I didn't stop talking about Hitler, but that's okay because Hitler is the go-to. He's reviled. Yeah. yeah. He's reviled, and I could keep talking about him as long as it's in the, in the proper framework. Right. But you just got to learn what to not talk about. I think that's the key. Which in this day and age is fucking anything. <laughs> like, oh, 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 you're starting because uh, <laughs> talk about your elf story. That- my, my elf story. Okay, so uh, today Sage got a box in the mail from Amazon, and I, I didn't know who it was from. I assumed my mother, and sure enough, it was my mother. But it's this. Um, I had, I think we had talked about it in the past. Elf on a shelf. Yes. Yeah. And um, I was like, why the fuck would she send this to her? Oh, it's cute. I don't. I don't it's a nice agree. little thing to get every night. My I did it with my daughter. Did you-, you hide it every night, right? And then, and then you know, and they look for it before they go to bed, mm-hmm. and then you hide it again before they wake up. Did you now? Now with Sage, she's not gonna. She had. I mean, I can't believe how disinterested she was. In it. <laughs> she didn't care at all, and she looked at it, and she was like, "It's all right," but like immediately went back to. What did you tell her that she, you're gonna hide it, or that no, no, that it will hide itself? And that she has to go find it. I didn't tell her that because that's one of the things that I think is weird. That um, beyond the the lie of Santa, that you're also saying like unless. Oh my God! You're telling me you're I'll, going. I'll just cut that out. Hold you're on. telling me you're going against telling kids childlike fantasy is wrong. No, that's right. I'm saying <laughs> with the motivation being like be good. Or this fucking Big Brother esque nineteen eighty four weird looking elf is gonna fucking be watching you constantly, and if you do, why isn't that what Santa? Wrong, that's Santa. Why you're telling her the wrong myth if, anyway? If you don't pray, 
He's going to tell. Pray? If, yeah, that was in the book. The book came with it. If you don't do this, you're busted. If you, you don't, don't have to that, follow it fucking like verbatim, the, the rules. Uh, Just say, hey, I'm going to hide. this. Well, don't say that. Say this elf is going to hide him. He's going to hide on you every night, and you've got to right. find him in the morning. And when you find him, there'll be like a Hershey kiss in his hand. That's what you that, did? That's what we did. Yeah. Me and my How wife. They react to that? They liked it? They loved it. Did they? They loved it. They didn't like constantly being watched, and their motivation to they be nice ca- to other people is like, because well, ooh, I'll most kids stuff. are not going to remember. They can't be good for Santa. You think they're going to be good for a fucking elf? Although I did remember, um, I did remember like being young, and there was no elf on a shelf, but my parents telling me that there were invisible elves watching us all the time. <laughs> All the time, and if you weren't good, then you were. What and what is the deal with like you can't touch it or the magic goes away? Like, wh- wh- why it's, is that a rule? I think it's just be just to to make it seem more magical. I think I'm better because I'm an asshole who didn't think it up. To make millions of dollars. <laughs> I think that's I think that's the heart of everything. <laughs> Why That's, am I so dumb? <laughs> a bitter asshole. Yeah. You call you call, they're liking that now. Right now. Do you, yeah. Your your spear points are some points. <laughs> <laughs> My approval rating just went up. <laughs> Brian Johnson admits he's a bitter asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Internet approves. <laughs> <laughs> Teflon coating, coating, one layer applied. Well, I don't know who couldn't love me, man. Why not? I love you. So, 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 talking about Christmas and our Christmas Espo, not really. Doesn't sound like we're we're going to be pushing anybody who hasn't bought it yet to over to bank or to tsdxmas dot com on picking it up on Bandcamp, huh? Well, it should be stated that I I think it's a great episode. You did, you liked it, right? I liked it. I I, thought- I was worried about, it, and I and I said it, and I I still was worried about it when we left. But when you guys kind of put me at ease, saying that you thought it was good, but I was like, I was very apprehensive about it because I knew that with no Christmas content. It was. We should have released it on a fucking April first instead of fucking <laughs> Black Friday. That to well, me. Was, can I say this? Yes. Within the episode hey. is the germ of what I believe is going to be a huge component of the Tell Steve Dave universe. Roll a roll. Oh, you're gonna. You think this should be a, a, something that comes back into our? I believe this is issue zero of a major <laughs> miniseries of the Tell Steve Dave universe. <laughs> it's the best part. Roll a roll was nobody complained about roll a roll. Everybody no. loved it. Yeah. We should have played it from fucking minute one yeah. to, to the end probably. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> we loved and I take it on a chin. It was all mine. It was all my con it was all my idea to go with Christian. You guys had nothing to do with it, so I uh, apologize well, to you uh, both we, we, for we go down as taking a path that uh Nobody really seemed to dig. And to your credit, at the zero hour, you were like, I think I fucked up. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> like, you're, you're like, I don't know if we should have done this. Like, right before we started, you're like, I don't know, man. I don't know. And, and I, I remember I texting back and being like, fuck it. We'll make something of it. Whatever. And the thing that's really is, is disheartening is, is that based on all the, all the criticism and all the complaints, I came I got – inspired and i got some really good christmas fucking content i mean really good yeah. now we're gonna have to fucking wait a year to do it but well at least they, we're ready to roll does the audience <laughs> does the audience fucking choke on it if oh, we record going- another episode and release another one on on band camp this year do they choke on it? Well, uh, do they hate do they like no, this is bullshit you, you well, can't do it you can't do it no you got you all oh, you mean you, well, the people who bought the old one get that one for free then. No. Oh, no. Yeah, that, no, yeah you can't do that. Why? Them, all they do is complain about me. <laughs> and I'm shit. Well, I have to wait, but I'm telling you, commit it. I know this is, I know this is horrible to say this. You know, you got to wait a year, tell them, Steve Dave audience, but the next one, like I said, it's going to be a verbal assault. Uh, a candy cane sh- shoved down your throat. Stuffed comes out your ass. Stuffed <laughs> to you where you can't even you can't even you won't even want to hear another thing You're about gonna Christmas. Be like too much Christmas shit. <laughs> yeah, like they went too far. Right. Mm. But I thought we um to make up for a little bit, I do have something I I wanted to a, a little Christmas content to make up for the uh, the Hindenburg that was the uh, <laughs> twenty fifteen. Uh, and this is uh, this is free gratis for all the people who didn't even buy it. Which, yeah, well, I don't know why you wouldn't buy it. Well, <laughs> word of mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's was that you done with the elf story though? What? Yeah, that was yeah, it. That I just, was it? I just, so you're not going to you're not going to take it out of the box. You're not going oh, you're no, not going to hide I, it. I took it out of the box. I put, I set it up for. She has absolutely no interest in it. Do you um do you agree with that, Q? What that he's that you she, he shouldn't go along with the um 
with the guidelines of hiding the elf like and hey, yeah, you come up with your own it. stuff. I think you're you're right. I think you're right to do that to make. But it he's not coming rules. up with anything. He's just saying like this well, is she, stupid. She's not. It's not capturing her anyway. She doesn't give a shit. So he's got to he's got to bring the magic. He's got to he's got to bring it make it come to life. It's not like the fucking elf is going to hide itself. No, but Sage responds to shit. You know what I mean? Like she either does or she doesn't. Yeah, she's either into stuff or or not. Yeah. So. Like lately, we've been into Sanjay and Craig, like consumed with Sanjay and Craig. Oh, what is that? Two week. It's a um, cartoon on uh, Nickelodeon. It's about a Indian kid and his talking snake. Chris Hardwick plays a talking snake. It's pretty good. There's some really good stuff. Yeah. On it. Yeah. Well, I think there's an Elf on a Shelf movie. Why don't you show her that? I'll, I'll try. I'll see. I mean, I'll try to convert her. <laughs> is she? Does she behave at all times? Because this is a great tool for to make She's kids. She's never bad. Ever. Ever. Okay. So you don't really use. So you don't. You can't even use There's it as no a way to make incentive. She's, okay. She's always good. And you know, it's pretty funny. I, I don't. I don't know how it started, but like within the past week, she's delighted in calling people asshats. <laughs> yeah. Like this is a good child. This is as, a, wait, but I was going to say you could get her to stop that using the elf on the shelf though. I want her to. It's funny she loves it too much. Like when we're driving if she sees somebody like they cut us off, she'd be like asshat or if, like, she'll, she'll call Suzanne an ass. <laughs> could you get Suzanne to elf on the shelf? What? Get her to believe get, it. Get Suzanne to elf on the shelf. <laughs> I'll get, give that a get her to believe it. <laughs> I'll be like, he has his own name. It's got to be true. This is a, this is a documentary. <laughs> be good. Says <laughs> alone in the apartment, staring, staring at the elf, trying not to move. <laughs> he finds him the next morning with a rubber in his head. <laughs> you better be good. <laughs> So you tell her, you know, being good is um, all things that you want, you know, you want yeah. done maybe in the bedroom. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Santa really likes sexually <laughs> No, no, not girls. Santa. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'll <laughs> Yeah. Just put it on the headboard. <laughs> <laughs> A pair of handcuffs dangling. I think he wants me. He wants to watch me fuck you from behind. <laughs> Says Elf on the shelf. Did he really say I, that? I, 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 read, I read it in the storybook. <laughs> I'll see if I can make that play out. <laughs> All right, uh, Christmas content cue. <laughs> I, t- I got this. Uh, this was this was one of the ones I was going to do, but I'm going to I'm going to take this out of next year's and put it into everyone's stock in this year. <laughs> All right. Hashtag yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh. And this is the segment of, the, of this is. Which one of these three Christmas stories upset? Social media this holiday season. Uh, I'll guess all three since they're a bunch of fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's oh. how you lose people. <laughs> it's true though. They I, I gotta say places. on Twitter, I don't, I don't see that. Like, I guess I, I'd rather not go to Reddit because I don't give a fuck. Then, but on Twitter, time and time again, I, I, I swear I do see people saying like, "I'm so glad you just say what you think." Like I'm so glad you don't like keep like hold back and and if that's what you're thinking that's what you say. Uh, Reddit obviously, I don't know why what the difference is. Like why people would go to Reddit. <laughs> they seem to feel that you go to the outraged well too much. Really? Am I that outraged all the time? I didn't think so. Not anymore. I thought I used to be way more outraged. This is what Reddit's saying. Oh, Reddit, huh? Yeah. yeah well, they know. They do know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, let's all right. figure this out. All right. I so sure which... hope I give the right answer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so these are these three. One of these three. One of these three Christmas stories. You know, set social media ablaze this holiday season. Some people on Reddit like me, right? Come Some on. yes. <laughs> it's not you know. It's not universal, yeah. okay. as you would say. Thank <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag laser snow, laser snow, laser snow. The internet is bashing. The as seen on TV Star Shower Christmas laser projector. Have you seen it? I have you, not. Se- you haven't seen this thing? It's everywhere now. It's on yeah, lawns. I've seen it. And it projects yeah, lights onto your house. Yeah. Can I look it, it up? Is it? Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, look it up. It's kind of tacky to me, but people love it. 
What, what's, well, uh, what's it called? Oh, uh, you you may be in line with the internet because people do not love it. What is it called? Well, just one more time. Uh, laser star shower, Christmas laser projector. You, you you embed it into the lawn. Yeah. You pull, you turn it on and it projects lights onto your house like a laser it looks, look. It looks cool. I'll get I, there is, but it just kind of ta- it just seems tacky to me a little bit. Well, that's your the internet is in agreement with you, Q. As yeah. some people on the internet are calling it. A cheap and lazy way and just outright lame substitute for hanging traditional holiday lights on your house. I think I would agree. But I'm outraged. <laughs> I'm fucking outraged about this shit. I wouldn't even have fucking noticed that. Well, but remember, Bri, this may not be real. <laughs> and you're getting, you're getting all out. <laughs> out. <laughs> I, I apologize. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Really? Are they mad because I called Precious fucking a little bit more than plus sized? Um, okay. Here so we have go. you seen it, Brian? You, you've seen this. You've driven around. You've definitely seen this. Last year was the first time I'd seen it. This year. Once you notice it, now you can't not see it. Yeah. yeah it's everywhere. See it? I, I see I see a picture, but I got I got to see a video of it, I'm sure, right? Like that's. Yeah, the picture probably does it. Star shower. Okay, here you go. Star shower, laser light. It's not like it doesn't move. It just, it's a. It's a static green and red lights that just kind of have to untangle them, then try to hang them, and after all that, they still don't work. There well, that's a problem, light. of course. Introducing Star Shower Laser Lights, the easiest way to light up your entire home. In just seconds, you can add thousands of colorful stars. Okay, so I get the idea. Um, and you haven't I, seen this? Like, yeah, I, not, I not the actual item, but you haven't seen houses with this on, this effect? No, I live in a low-income neighborhood. <laughs> no, yeah, you don't. Um, the uh, I, I know I haven't. Well, it's not, I this, haven't seen it yet. I don't really drive around that much at night. Well, I I would agree with you. I mean, I don't, I don't want to agree with you, but I would think it probably isn't going to be in the. It's probably is going to be in a little bit the more like um, lazy middle class kind lazy. of because um, it's it's not. I don't want to say lazy, but it's uh, it's definitely easier. Than like stringing lights all over your stringing house. Stringing lights is not easy, right? So, mm-hmm. so they're like, okay, instead of stringing lights, pop this one thing down, and it and it just shows it projects the star all over field. Your house, okay. Yeah, I like the people that like really fucking go for it with the um, synchronized music and the lights. That like <sighs> that's insane. Like people can do that. It's it's. So wow, well, I tell you what, I took uh, my mom last. I took my mom to see a Broadway play last night. Well, for Christmas, like a little oh, thing. Oh, nice, and. Uh, we went to the Christmas tree, Rockefeller, and they have added a light, a light music synchronized display. That, and I'm not even a Christmas guy. It was just gorgeous. It put me right in the holiday spirit <laughs> in a way that I don't think a laser light field could do. It was a star shower. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying so. I just that's the thing that got you this Christmas. The lights, the right. lights at Rockefeller real Center, lights. real lights. Yeah, bang me right into the season. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you're saying that one possibility is, is the, the hashtag laser snow, laser snow, laser snow, or this hashtag, hashtag Santa's Yule log. Was the internet upset over a Santa creepily peering out of a six foot lighted outhouse? Lawn balloon. I'll show okay. you guys what it looks like. The one that everybody shoots with BBs, those like those lawn balloons. <laughs> Nobody shoots those with BBs. Do you? Yeah. No. They just deflate them in the in the, in the morning. Hmm. You're saying this well, is. Well, they're a fan, right? If you shut off the fan, they deflate. Yeah. I thought we were supposed to shoot them with BBs. No. I I? <laughs> it's Santa taking a shit? It's Santa creepily popping his head out of an outhouse with toilet paper. He looks out at you. And he picks his head back in. Oh, I see it. Look. Look, see, he looks out and he's like, I'm trying to take a shit. <laughs> All right, so Santa's taking it. And a he's dump. staring for a really long time. I mean, it goes on for like 10 seconds and then he goes back in. Kind of. He doesn't even shut the door all the way. Yeah, is that <laughs> fucked up? That is kind of weird. Right? I mean, I, I, that's not something that I would. Like, the star shower thing seems like somebody's like, I know how to fucking make buku bucks. Yeah. He's right. Because everybody's kind of lazy. And this yeah. yeah, but this is – Santa Claus is probably universally – That's the, here's where you can use the word universally. Mm-hmm. He's universally okay. beloved by children. Santa Claus, right. Why would you paint him in that light though? 
Why would you? Why would you dehuman, ma- marry dehuman, the two? Dehumanize them. Well, humanize them. <laughs> People take shit, yeah. <laughs> but not in an out. Like why? But not in an out. Not in a way that why you're like, ma- oh, ho, 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 look at Santa two, taking right? a dump, yeah, right? I hear you. It's ridiculous. Meanwhile, Maxwell's like, all right, fine. I'll take down twenty two <laughs> of the twenty five that I have on my lawn. <laughs> I mean, it's it's creepy. The, the internet is saying, and it's gross. And it has no place at Christmas time. It, it it's a we it is weird. It's a it's a very odd choice. All right, so that somebody was, was like, "This will be funny." Oh yeah, people I thought guess. it was funny. So that was hashtag Santa's Yule log. Santa's Yule log. Hashtag Feliz Navidad. Uh-uh. A grocery store <laughs> ad has angered the internet for being too depressing and manipulative. Mm-hmm. Um. This is actually this is one of a viral commercial from Germany that uh, has really pissed people off. Um, <laughs> as Germans are apt to do. <laughs> isn't wait, no time? Isn't didn't Time Magazine just make G- Germany's Chancellor like Person of the Year? Yeah, t- the yeah Times. Like uh, because apparently she's just been she's turning stepping the country up. around. Yeah, she's turning the European Union around. She's taken in all those all those refugees. She's like the anti Hitler. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't mean they don't they want to hear this uh, depressing uh, Felice Navi dead shit. Um, it's a grocery store in Germany that has gone viral. A commercial for it. Um, it starts off with a grandfather, an elderly man, calling his children, his grown children, to ask them if they're going to come for Christmas dinner right. this Christmas. And all of his children decline and say they have other things to do this holiday. They cannot make it. So then it cuts to you know a very sad elderly man preparing his own meal by himself while his family goes about their business this holiday season. And they're having fun and, you know, they're with their own children and they're laughing and playing and doing holiday things until they get a, 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 a telegram stating that the, man, the elderly man has died. A telegram? It's a telegram, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking century does this fucking commercial take place in? Oh, okay. And um, – <laughs> How was that an explanation? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But... They, so they all go to the house. Right. To take care of the of Some their fathers, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they all go to this house to take care of his to take care of his affairs and take you know close up the house. On and Christmas, uh, a couple days before Christmas, it's okay. not it's if not. And um, when they get there, they smell something in the house, Uh-oh. and then they walk around the corner, and there's this beautiful. The whole family's there, kids, everything. There's this beautiful dinner laid out. So he's not dead. And then the old man comes out of the out of the kitchen with a big turkey, and the the people are aghast. And then they're like, "We thought you were dead, and we thought you were dead. What's going on?" And he's like, "I didn't. I I faked my death." He goes because it was the only way I could get everyone here f- for Christmas dinner. This has to be an infomercial because this sounds <laughs> awfully fucking long. <laughs> I'm just giving you. I'm painting you because I don't. I mean, to watch it, it's in German. It would be right, wasted. Right. I'm just giving you what goes on. I mean, that it, this happens like this. Mm-hmm. It's like boom, 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 boom. Right. And so then, like they're. They have this wonderful time at this Christmas dinner, and then the the grocery Mm -hmm. store logo comes up. Mm -hmm. And um, the internet is claiming that they don't want to be depressed and guilted into dealing with – to having to deal with this kind of um, message around the holiday season. There are just some relatives that – Makes me feel bad about (laughs) neglecting my own parents. (laughs) (laughs) But they call it creepy, manipulative, and um, and worst of all, not a good commercial. I will not go by. Uh, I will not be shopping at this store due to this commercial. Wow. So which is it? Is it uh, laser snow, laser snow, laser snow? Uh, right. Feliz well, Navi of- dead or Santa's Yule log? Mm-hmm. Let's think of the general mindset intelligence of the internet and what they become <laughs> outraged over. Right. Which is nearly fucking everything. Pretty much everything at this point. And it, they, I don't even know how much people are actually outraged over. It's like you'll see sometimes you'll see an article. It's like internet in an outrage over blank. And it's like three people tweeted about it. Well, I, here's the thing that I always think is that like I know an incredibly diverse amount of people. 
uh, my friends uh, that work on my TV show. I'm like one of the only five white people that work on my TV show. Um, my friends from the firehouse. Like I, I, Across the board, I know so many people. All right, Reddit loves you, and, and not me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got I got Muslim friends. I'm all over the place, um, and none of them are get offended by anything. None of them like people don't talk. It in may real have life. aged out of that out of that. Uh, no, I, 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 that I have the gamut. The gamut. It's just nobody in real life thinks about things like like people do on the internet. Gets offended by things like they do on the internet. It just it just it's not linked to reality. Right. Because I, I find myself doing that. Like I'll see something and it, like I'll get a rise. I'll be like, these, what are, what's with these fucking idiots? But then I realize like, well, this may not – this is a vocal minority. This is not it's really like four the people. way people it's, yeah. yeah. Um, however, I will say this. I'm looking in your direction, Reddit. <laughs> uh, we could all agree that – I mean I hope we could all agree that Donald Trump as president would be a fucking big problem for us. <laughs> right? I don't know. Really? Yeah. I mean, I may as well go for it. <laughs> uh, but I, if we do end up with President Donald Trump, right. I feel it's going to be a direct, direct response to how fucking annoying and cunty the internet is. That's what I, that's, I think that's why we're where we are now. And I think that's why we're in real danger of the fucking president being Donald Trump. Well, why do you think I'm fucking proudly carrying the fucking anti-PC flag, man? Fuck the internet and their fucking stupid opinions about everything. Yeah, but it's fine for you and a, and a website, but like... It doesn't seem so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really work it all that well for him. The sales are... The, uh, uh, I mean, uh, sales are down across directly, the board. It's directly uh, I mean, to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just worry, Walt. I worry. You worry about what? What, what are we worried about again? I, I, you think that, that I think Don, it's a backlash. His popularity is a backlash to a, a PC world. Well, well it's, PC America. there's this whole thing now about like basically it is – and I understand it. I do. I get it. Like white people have been fucking r- ruling the roost for fucking thousands of years. I get it. But now there's this anti-white thing going on on the internet and stuff like that. You could take shots at white – I could say right now I hate all white people and nobody's ever going to blink an eye on it. Anybody could say it. That's just the way it is. Um, but – Nobody wants to hear it. I mean, you know what I mean? I just think that. Hey, man, it's tough. If we end up with President Trump because of the shit, we're gonna be we're gonna have problems, <laughs> and we might. I don't think so. Oh, well, he's I think what's gonna happen too. I think well, it ain't gonna happen. He but, doesn't have to. He's in charge of the fucking Republican Party right now. Yeah, no, nah, they may, they may not. That may not happen either. But oh, I, I think, know. I think what. You shouldn't. Work. I mean, you're 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 gonna vote this year. Yeah. You could you you just got to worry about BQ's vote, and the rest of and the and the rest of the rest of will just take care of itself. I hope so. Because uh, that I, I think it's all like people love to say they're gonna that they want him or they and they want because I like okay. you said I think it's a reaction to like it's a f you to to the PC to say like they're gonna vote for Trump, but when when it comes out in nitty gritty and you're ready to pull that lever. You're like, oh, we can't have this fuckhead, and yeah. I can't really do it. But th- it's, it's, it's all, but it is a choice between shit and diarrhea. I mean, Hillary Clinton's just going to raise my taxes, so I can't. <laughs> she's going to raise your taxes. So if she's Donald a, Trump is a, running against Hillary Clinton, I have proven, to vote for Donald Trump. She's a proven liar. Yeah, you know, there, there's, there's a whole oh bunch my of god, there's so much. Too. Yeah, but what, uh, what I think she will probably do though, in when she gets in office, though, is that. She will be even. I think she'll be even more tough. You know, people are like, oh, we can't get a Democrat. It'll be. They're not tough. They're not. They're not good on security. Right. I think because she's a woman, she will overcompensate and be even tougher because she doesn't want to be labeled as being soft. So that yeah. may that may that may put your some of your concerns to ease on on security well i can guarantee oh, she'll be know. she'll be tough for at least one week per month <laughs> <laughs> oh, i think that's i don't think that happens anymore bro <laughs> oh, yeah, you're probably right. you're the younger chick president oh uh, just i can't imagine the taxes if she's elected though oh no you i'm gonna be in a fucking i'm gonna end up, i can't take it <laughs> i'm not giving a charity anymore no, no. Can't do not it, unless huh? it's an, I'll do animal charities. That's it. Yeah. Not another. No, I'm not giving a job to anybody else because my taxes already fucking fund this shit. Just write it off. Fuck everybody. 
Well, they're, they're, they're talking about... <laughs> the, Fuck Reddit. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah, they're talking about the funding plan Parenthood, so you might have to yeah. give them a couple bucks. No. All those fucking kids. He gives a couple bucks. To, he gives there? a couple bucks outright every fucking every other month, doesn't he? Yeah, you used to. Five hundred bucks every two months. <laughs> uh, you gotta go, honey. Yeah. <laughs> honey, take care of it. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> Gets <to> scraping. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Are you single-handedly responsible for six abortions a year? <laughs> well, this punch card. Easy yeah, pass. Ten fucking. <laughs> 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 fucking may as well go for I it. I don't know how we got. I apologize, Walt. I, I, apologize for what? I, I, I to get on the Trump. I worry about this. Yeah, you know what? I mean, you can't. Because you just got to worry about your, your about your own backyard. Yeah, but he's gonna be he's gonna be in charge of my backyard. I don't think so. But he, I mean, really, is the president in charge when you know he enters to Congress and people veto shit right and left? It's a, it's, it, there's not a chance. You can't say things like that and and make it. I don't think. I don't think anyway. I, I think like what Donald like since he doesn't have that filter like like when he's saying like. Ban all Muslims from coming in the country. I think, I mean, I hope what he means is like, you can't have an open door policy for really anyone, not just Muslims. I mean, obviously, like the country has become more dangerous. Uh, whereas after 9-11, it was like, if you see something, say something. Now, if you see something to say something, well, you're profiling. And that electrician right. guy or whatever in San Bernardino, had he not been afraid of profiling, those 14 people maybe, maybe, maybe alive. And it would have not, you know, had that effect yeah. of like, you know, God knows how That's... many family members and friends and all that other shit. Because when it comes right down to it, it was two Muslim people who shot up a bunch of fucking Christians at a Christmas party. But nobody can, nobody wants to say that, you know. And, oh, they're saying it. And he will say that. No, not, I, I swear to Christ, I don't know what fucking news outlet to read on the internet anymore. Like, everyone is so fucking pussified that no, like, even Fox. <laughs> even Fox. When Fox is pussing out, when they're like, oh, Obama's a pussy, or like the, the lady says something, uses the word shit, and they're like, you're out of here. It's like, that's not even regular fucking TV, that's cable. Like you're allowed to say that stuff. Yeah, but you don't want to. You don't want to promote uh, someone using vulgarity on the air as as somebody that works for your company. You know, you got to have a, some decorum of professionalism. Mm. Yeah, it isn't. But I a lot of the things that he says, Trump, just strike me as so an, un-American. Like you cannot single out. American Muslims, you just can't. And well, it's, I don't think he, but he, like he, 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 he wants to keep a database of Muslims in the country. But he, well, he's he saying to, things that can't be done to, anyway, though. So it's a waste of everyone's but, but just time. The fact that he was even said, it's just like, it's just like. And here, and here's the one. Here's something to chew on, though. Though, like that I'll really makes you go. You're really trying it? to make up for that. Get a Muslim cop. <laughs> no, no. This is this is how I feel. He I, says I, he says a, he says something like that. And he's playing. A, he's playing a card that will that inevitably, probably will will come back to help him. The ne- inevitably, we're going to have another terrorist attack. Right. You know, came, one came pretty quick after Paris. Right. We're going to have another one. And if the next one involves something even more, like wh- at what point do the people who are like, there's a lot of people, like, majority of people believe like you do, Q. It's crazy to say what he's saying, but as the as the bodies pile up, right. It's you know he he can go back to that and be like I was right I was right I was right see I was right I, mean, I he called said for this the fucking day of the France thing where he's like I told you we should have bombed ISIS oil fields <laughs> so I mean he he is playing a card that probably will come if it does, if it comes back before the election it could help him immensely in terms of like well he could say I was right I was right I was right, right. but if it but if there's no other attack I think he's I mean it's I think people when it comes down to Put up or shut up. They're not going to. But you're talking about him. attacks in America because people don't pay attention to like the third. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking. I'm talking about attacks in America. Could you imagine if? Do you remember that documentary um, a couple years ago about um, some terrorists who stormed? A, I think it was a Russian school. Oh yeah, and killed all the kids. Yeah. If that happens in America, what happens? 
Um, I think you see some change. Uh, it's Muslims who do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, th- I think. Well, I mean, you're the people you who are the people. They're going to be. Then you're going to see the test of like, what? What? At what point do you compromise your? What's it called? The uh, your principles and your ideals. As it, I mean, how much blood does it take, or is there any? Is there any point? Is there? Is there no point that's too high before you compromise your ideals? Is that what you're saying, Q? I I compromise them like three times on the way here. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like you know, yeah. you, what people people who are people who are very much like you know against what he said. Well, oh, there are some people who, no matter how many people and how much no matter how much blood is spilled, they'll never they'll never. Come 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 to that side of what you say, unless they're directly affected. Possibly, I don't think that I would ever be on that side. If if it, but if you know what I'm talking about, I think it was a Russian school. No, I never. You I saw that, that. You saw that story. Said, but, if that happens, you're, you're, people are going to be pressed because it's going to you be. You can't equate that directly with your your average American Muslim. You just can't. No, I'm talking about if it's somebody who comes in from another country. Oh well, look, if it's somebody who comes in from story. another country, I'm talking about Americans, right? But if he, but but he's he was talking about he, you know, let's stop the uh, let's stop the the, let's the, stop the immigration the, the immigration handle, in. Let's that's get what a he was saying. On oh. like the system that we're going to use in order to allow people to come. But country, he said it's not that fucking crazy. Well, you got to do he, it for everybody. <laughs> you he, can't just be like these Muslims. Right, but uh, but at what? I, mean, but, I don't know who keeps who wants to keep out the Italians. They have hot <laughs> and they make great food. But dude, I, I, there was a girl when we first opened this store. Um, uh, like there was like I would work here, then in, like here and there, and there was a girl that used to come down from RBC. Yeah, um, and she was a Syrian girl. Mm-hmm. That alone. Her looks make me want to take in every fucking Syrian. Right. Oh, she was so hot. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. So sweet, too. Such a nice girl. And it's like, look, nobody – that's that's the thing about – like, you get Obama saying, like, look, um, you know, like, let's – you know, this this shouldn't make us intolerant of Muslims and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, all right, we're all a bunch of fucking assholes who think that the majority of fucking Muslims are going to fucking, you know, uh, take part in a terrorist attack. Enough. It's not With enough because bullshit. you got the guy who's running for president saying that that, that it's not enough. You almost I would almost agree with you until he started saying that stuff. Now no, he, no, no, there I'm has to be Obama somebody telling, s- Obama telling the general public like do you, like you really don't see like do you see that many people going after fucking Muslims or making Muslims life hard? It's like I don't read about that shit in the paper. Like I don't I don't see that online. Uh, I see see it here or there, but. Really? But when I, you have, but when you have somebody running for the highest oh, office sure. in the in the world, yeah. saying the things that Trump's saying, then that's why you're hearing yeah. the other side be like, "This is crazy." But I also when there's like there is a, there is a gray area because you know that like. Stop telling us to be tolerant of fucking Islamic radicalists, uh, like radical Islamists who just fucking shot fourteen people. That shouldn't be your first thing. And like when when France when France well, happened, they're not saying what did they talk about? They're not being. They're, he's not saying be tolerant of of radicals. Right. He's, he's not saying, saying make that. sure that you don't aim that yeah. gun at. But I don't. Th- I mean, how many people are like I don't. Well, I don't what? Think what think how many people? Uh, I think you're almost majority. anybody at the. I, I'm sure it was a. It was a Going to those Trump rallies is? I, I no, they're not killing Muslims. They're not, nobody. They're, they're not fucking. No, when did when did you start bringing the world killing and no, just pointing that barrel at? I'm talking about just aiming oh, the, oh, barrel, the uh, barrel. I mean, not barrel. literally aiming it, but I'm talking about like right. painting everybody as a you know as a bad me, guy. You know what bothers me the most about fucking Muslims? Like the only thing aside from the fucking radical ones is that like when I go to a fucking store and I see a woman wearing a fucking burqa one I think it's the creepiest fucking outfit ever two I'm like that's not like I know religious freedom all this other bullshit but it's like how do you fucking balance that with feminism these days like how the it's the, such a fucking backwards fucking thing to do I mean, the woman is covered up head to toe she can only look that's out that's how you that's how you she fight, looks dude. like she looks <laughs> yeah. like a fucking sniper yeah. window it's so little that's not your fight bro 
No, it's not. I I, I got my hands full with Reddit. I know that. <laughs> like, don't I, even get into that. It just I look at it and I just I'm I feel like I want to fucking pull it right the fuck off her head and be like, <laughs> well, you, you don't listen. have to do this. Don't do this. Don't listen to your asshole husband. Go don't read. Go read one. what Bill Maher has been saying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go read what he's been talking about. He he brings up the things you're talking about, like the. You're for, you know, one side says you got to be open and you got to be, but what we're being open to is subjugation. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like, it's a very, it's like, it's like a very strange uh, thing that you, on one hand, you're like, you don't, you don't, you aren't supposed to treat women like this. You aren't supposed to do the, you know, make them second class citizens. How far do you let the, how far do you let the culture go? Like, let's say uh, a Muslim woman is uh, convicted or, or suspected of fucking adultery. Is it like, well, Well, that's in a different country. That's not going to happen here. That's not going to happen. It's a different country. Yeah. But like, well, why not? We can't, but we can't, but we can't, we can't, uh, we we can't do anything about that. We got got, got religious freedom. So let's start. You still got to follow the laws here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. Fucking religious laws don't supersede. No, no, they don't. <laughs> no, try not to pay taxes. For now. <laughs> don't, I looked into that. It's not my own church. Don't, don't vote for Trump and start, my, you know, maybe see stonings on every fucking corner. <laughs> start to see what? You're going to start seeing stonings on every corner. <laughs> you know? It's like there are so many countries out there that are so fucked up towards but, women. Like when sometimes when you see the shit on Twitter that girls complain about, you're like, shut the fuck up, man, because half a world away, some girl's getting her fucking clit cut off. Yeah, I, you know, some girl's getting her fucking head bashed in with stones because it's suspected that she committed adultery. Some girl can't even fucking ride a bike on Wednesday or whatever the right. fuck, you know? It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. I don't know. I've, I've stepped away from women's issues entirely. No yeah. more broad issues, huh? Nah, it's been a just, while. I we got to double s- up on fat news. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what do you guys think about going right. back to this? Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> oh, that's right. We got to pick the story. <laughs> Which story angered the internet? Uh, okay. So was it was it the Christmas lights cue? Was it Santa Claus peeking out after taking a <laughs> shit? Or was it some fucking weird German commercial? All right. I figure the German commercial isn't enough to affect the internet as a whole. All right. So I'm going to go with lights or Santa. Right. Um, I recently got into um, a a, a bit of a tiff on Twitter uh, over a Santa Claus related issue. Somebody tweeted that um, this is wrong. They're charging to see Santa. And I was like, all right, well, let me look into this. And it turned <laughs> all right, out. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Slip on your investment <laughs> blazer. I put my blazer on. Yeah. I looked into it. And it turns out that it's not your average, like, Santa, which I'm sorry, but, like, it cost me $40 every year to get pictures with Sage and Santa. I, yeah. never, I never knew it to be free unless, like, you go to the firehouse. But I guess there's, like, 10 or 12 exhibits across the country where it's, like, Big time, like almost like Disney esque. Like they literally have licensed characters and this and that. And then you go and see Santa. So it's not like you're just paying for Santa. You're paying for this whole holiday experience. This experience, all right. And and this lady was mad about it. And to me, I said, well, who's supposed to pay? Like if you went to a fucking theme park and and Santa, like Santa happened to be there, which should you be allowed in for free? Like why is the mall supposed to subsidize your child's Christmas experience? I didn't really get it. Right. I, I didn't understand it. And it wasn't resolved because, you know, nobody ever is like, yeah, you're right. And they're like, the woman was like, well, the, you know, then they should be taught that there isn't a price on everything. And, Wait well, a minute. It wasn't like, resolved? What do you mean? Yeah. To your to your liking, you mean? Or no, it was solved overall? I just stopped. Oh, okay. I, I was like, fuck it. My blazer off. I was going like, to say, did you really expect a resolution? Un- 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 <laughs> but, I, but I was just like, like – who is going to – like, your kids you, aren't paying. And you if, are. And that's if, what's making you mad is that you have to pay. And if she tweeted back, you're right, what would, what would it make you do? I, I, it would make me think like, oh, well, maybe she hadn't thought of it this way, you know. But I, I just – I'm like, mm. Santa is not – No satisfaction? Zero. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait. If I change her mind? Yeah. Oh, 100% satisfaction. <laughs> 
I thought you meant in the real world. What happened? <laughs> there is a level. So there would be a level of satisfaction on on, on winning the debate. Yeah, well, I'd be like, well, I show this ignorant to like. Dummy. I turned around. But to me, I was just like, well, then. Have you ever achieved that? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Never. It's, in fact, it just gets worse. You guys on Reddit. Everyone's like, you're a jerk. You should be free. <laughs> but it's free. If you go to the firehouse or the VFW, right. like, there's tons of places. Like, you don't have to fucking bring your kid to the mall. And 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 expect this like this uh, holiday extravaganza to be subsidized by someone else. Like sometimes you got to pay for shit. This is one of those things, right? But if you Either get it, deal for, or don't. But if you can get it for free, why shouldn't you? Like the squeaky wheel. Yeah, because the business, that agrees. business isn't going to fucking shut down because they changed the policy at a mall. They did change the policy. Yeah, they did. They, they gave it away it for up. free. Uh, they, they brought right? up the grease. You know what that is? That's Santa communism. Yeah. And I, for one, am not going to stand for it. Why? That's, that's the way it is. This is a fucking now. red, man. You got to give a shit away. Capitalism. <laughs> we <laughs> this fucking company, country is built on. We, we don't like this, so fucking let's fire this guy. We don't like this, so now Santa Claus is fucking free because the mall's afraid they're going to lose business. Right. Right. But I don't. But like, if I was the mall, I'd fucking rip Santa right out. Yeah, there. I'd be like, no Santa this year. Yeah, fucking take your heads. fucking squealing little rats yeah. and fucking yeah. spend time with them instead of tearing them to the mall. Go fuck yourselves. And yeah. if you were managing that mall, you'd be out on your ass. Yeah, yeah, you make <laughs> a terrible mall manager. Manager. You better stick. You better stick to entertaining, Q. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm not good at that either. <laughs> <laughs> go back to firefighting. If you manage a mall, I don't think is in your future. Uh, you, you don't want you want no Santa Claus. And the only month when they make all their money, you know, you want to make it so nobody goes to that mall. Yeah, you start. You, you got your point across. <laughs> You're like oh, capitalism or death. <laughs> <laughs> Better dead than red. <laughs> it is better dead than red. Yeah, communism. Get the fuck out of here. Um, okay, so. I, I have to feel that your average person loves new shit, easy shit, right? Um, you know, like like time saving shit, and they're like, "Wow!" Uh, th- so this this is all this cost. It's kind of cool. Um, the Santa thing. What are we talking about here? What do you the mean? Light. The new shit. The, the, the new shit. Things. What's the new the shit? Starlight. Oh, the, like, this is the, the new the sto- shit. <laughs> <laughs> the star shower you're talking the about. The star yeah. shower thing. Yeah, I can't imagine people getting up in arms about like, oh my god, they're not doing it old school. <laughs> <laughs> people love fucking technology. And shit. <laughs> but this what is, happened to this country? I, is is the is can you point to the star shower projector is shoved into a lawn as fucking. New age technology. Well, I'm not saying it's space age. Like, holy shit, really? So these are the times we live in. <laughs> Spacely sprockets. What a wonderful time. <laughs> I, I think people are like, you oh, use it's... you use the word technology though to yeah. describe that. Well, it's the equivalent of any of the shit you fucking see on TV. Like, hey, chop a carrot faster. You know, like, any number of fucking dumb things that, like, you look it up on the internet and everyone's like, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> you know, turn on fucking, push a button and you can turn on all your lights instead of fucking flicking three switches. Isn't that amazing? Uh, but but I, I just don't see that getting. You don't see the internet getting angry about the star shower laser. If the if the inter- internet is angry about me, I see him get angry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But I, but I think that like the the marriage of Santa Claus and like ooh you caught me taking a shit is just <laughs> too like what. Uh, too unsettling <laughs> and why is he peeking out and then going back in but not really closing the door all the way and why the fuck do, are you fucking making the man who's brought all these presents for you not why you why don't you let him come in the house and take a shit if he has to go take a shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> right why can't he come inside <laughs> where it's warm like i said he's down south <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, that ain't cool. <laughs> we need indoor plumbing. I, say, what the fuck? I, mean, I guess you can shit in the sink. 
I think um, I think it's just a little bit too odd for people. Did you get the Did you get the hashtag though? Santa's Yule log. Did you get that man? I got the log. Okay, yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> like, Wait a second. How fucking insanely clever. But it's not like something you would do. <laughs> That's where he's going to trick us, maybe. All right. Yeah. So you're going with the with the inflated, six foot tall inflatable outhouse for Santa. Yeah, yeah Santa caught <laughs> in the state of undress. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you, when I was uh, dating this girl in high school, we were at a parent's house, and she had these old school uh, outhouse. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the Charmin commercials where it was like the it was animated with the bear? Yeah, Mama and you get the little the little pieces of, of dingleberries on, yeah, his, on like his butt. On their, yeah, on their ass. Um, we were watching the TV, and the mother was just like, "Oh, that's disgusting! Like, why do they have to show like a bear wiping you, his?" Were you ass? dating a Puritan? Uh, no, <laughs> just a classic stand on the Republican. Like, oh, that's just so disgusting. And I remember thinking, "Wow, man, that's fucking. That's a weird thing to get your fucking." Heckles raised about. So I do know that the topic of shitting. If I were to admit right now that 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 uh, I thought the same way, would you think less of me? No, I'd almost expect it from you. I think. Okay, yeah, because good, cause I, I have. Yeah, I, 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 say, I a couple <laughs> blocks down there were those those plywood cutouts. No, no, I'm talking about the the, the Charmin commercial. Yeah. I too was just like, why the fuck would they do that? Why would they put? Why is that? Something that you could you you would use to sell your product. Yeah, I think you've said that before, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I do know that people get upset about it, Walter. Yeah, and so, Brian, you were going to mention that there was these cutouts by my of a neighbor. About a oh, I, mean, you yeah. hated yeah. I hate it. Yeah, that. that they were they were urinating like like Not playfully urinating, urinating. But like their pants, like the, the yeah, boys' you pants see their butt. Down. Yeah, you see his ass. ass. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was strange. Like I would drive by and I thought it was strange, but it never really like clicked the way it clicked for <laughs> other people in the neighborhood. <laughs> so I do think it's the outhouse one. I think uh, it's the outhouse one too, huh? But Santa's Yule log. Hashtag Santa's Yule log. In the interest of, of, of uh, you know, creating a winner. Not getting loser tricked here. by Walt. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the German. The German commercial. Why? Because it's a pretty fucked up commercial. Why? How so? Well, the guy told his whole family that, that he's dead. They were all freaking out. But he had to. But he had to do it. And in the end, yeah, it was the right move. The guy, maybe he's an asshole. But in the end, I, but you see them celebrating, and it's a great, it's a great dinner. And it may be the last dinner they ever have together. And if he has to resort to that, why wouldn't you? Are you telling me you wouldn't do resort to something like that? Uh, you I haven't been not. manipulative to get what you wanted. Listen, I've seen my future, and it's dying alone, <laughs> like eating Christmas by himself. I look forward. You, to you that. haven't manipulated people. To do things you wanted for yourself? I mean, not to a psychotic degree. <laughs> it's yeah, like faking your own death. <laughs> yeah. uh, how did he fa- How did he make he said the think telegram, he remember? Oh, he telegram. said a telegram. That's right, yeah. uh, <laughs> so I think it's that one. I think it's that one. Yeah. Felice Navi dead. Felice Hashtag Navi Felice Navi dead. Another fucking clever yeah. Flanagan. Like, no, that's, that's, that's rough. What's the hashtag for the laser lights? Hashtag laser snow, laser snow, laser snow. I'm gonna go with Navi dead. <clears throat> got a little, can we get a little Christmas music deck? Yeah, we'll reveal some this Christmas suspenseful music. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Should some we? fucking the latest fucking. Why don't we take this recorder outside and get those carolers? Rock and round. I mean, I don't know where the fuck. They no, are. there's there's a stationary. Three of them probably died by the time. <laughs> there's a stationary rock people playing right right outside the store over there. Oh yeah. Why don't we end this end the show with their music? Mm. We got to pay for it, then. Too much work. Yeah, I got to license it. He's got like 50 seasons. Of <laughs> All right. The big reveal to um, hashtag yourself a Merry Little Christmas. This is kind of the makeup. Yeah, this is going to make up for the money you spent. Huh? Yeah, this is the makeup for uh, spending the money on the, you, on the Christian Christmas. If you're listening Christmas. to this, to the makeup one, and didn't buy the Christmas one, you really should go buy the Christmas one. Yeah, you actually. Yeah, you're now you're in. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. Don't take. Don't take. Ready? Hashtag Felice Navi dead was there the real go. was the real story that got the internet pissy. Pissy, huh? Pissy. Uh. <clears throat> now you know. I I <laughs> saw the, 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 there was a second where I was like, maybe it is that one because I saw something in Australia where there's like I think it's an electronic store or something, and every year they have like a like a sort of a a cheeky. Um, a cheeky uh, billboard, and this year it was Caitlyn Jenner 
you know, image use without her permission, I'm sure. <laughs> and it said, like, I hope Santa has more in his sack than I do or something like that. I, I could Something it, it suggestive? It was kind of like, oh, yeah. I mean, it was about balls, no doubt. And wow. I, I, it was worded to, the, to where I was like, yeah, I don't know. It's not super clever. I didn't really get it at it's first. no Felice Navidad. No, definitely not. <laughs> um, <laughs> or Santa's Yule Log. Yeah, but people Santa's Yule Log. I was like, God damn, I know he made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to – I was going to – the other one I was going to do was – can you smell what I smell? So can you hear what I hear? <laughs> but the, the other two stories actually were um, were very clo- hit close to home. That fucking laser projector yeah. is nowhere. I spent Saturday going to four Walmarts, three Kmarts. Um, I was all over New Jersey because my kid wants it. Okay. I cannot find this fucking and, – and now they're selling on Amazon three times what, it, what it's supposed to be. Get out, I thought that really? was against the law to do shit like that. Well, I think that's uh, during times of like hurricanes and natural disasters. Like you can't charge three times for a generator. <laughs> not, not some fucking unnecessary piece of shit like a laser shower. I thing. cannot find this fucking thing anywhere. And we were in the last Walmart and um, I saw that I, – I, I actually videotaped that Santa Claus in the outhouse. Oh, really? Much to my shock and horror when I saw it. <laughs> and I called over my daughter and I said, you know, this is the last one. I said, we, we're not going to any more stores. It's 9 o'clock. Do you want this instead? <laughs> I said, I got the sales guy. He's going to get that down for us. We're going to get that. And her face, <laughs> her face turned to the shock and horror because she didn't realize what it was at first. She, and I said, he goes, you know what that is? And she goes, I don't, I don't get it. I go, look, that's toilet paper right there. I said, that's an outhouse. And like you could see the realization of what it was. And she said – if you were to put that on our lawn, I would go out and destroy it. I will not have my friends drive by and see that on our lawn. No, she goes, absolutely not. Wow. Like, you don't think she'd be like, wow, it's fucking pretty genius and fucked up. Like, let's put it on there. Like, I guess teenagers just She was like, horrified. And I said, well, should I tell the guy we're not getting it? And she goes, let's go. I know you didn't, t- I know you didn't tell anybody. <laughs> She's like, I can see your wheels Pretty turning. Shocked. You're making up fake hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Feliz Navidad. Let's go. <laughs> but I, can't, I can't find this fucking thing anywhere, man. Wow. I've been. I, I look. I go on eBay. It goes for like seventy bucks. It's only supposed to retail for thirty dollars. I told you, man. People love. Tech. That's for the cheapest one, man. But they make better made ones. Do they? What? Yeah. Where I can't find one anywhere. I know they make them. I don't. I don't look into it. Mm-hmm. I don't call attention I have nothing to base that on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do. Where, I do I go, where do you know they make better because, ones? <laughs> because my mother wanted to get one for a house in Pennsylvania. Right. Uh, I ended up talking her out of it. But she Why? Was like they're thirty dollars. <laughs> but, but the woman in the store said that they break right away. And I said, of course, they're fucking thirty dollars. I was like, if you want to get a nice one, you get a nice one. And she was like, well, I went. I saw they go for like one hundred and fifty. And I was like, that's the one that won't break on you. But don't get it because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ma. Hang the lights for it now. <laughs> uh, no, you're not hanging any lights for it. But she's only in Pennsylvania. She's only in Pennsylvania for like another week before she goes down to Florida. For the, so I'm like, why are you even hanging lights? She won't even be there for Christmas. She will. She leaves like two days after Christmas. Oh, okay. She's gonna spend it in the dark, though. No lights on the house. She's gonna have to write to cute. I'll like send him a telegram and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Q. Q. I'm dead. I'm dead. My, my last wish was that you come over and string the lights. You go yeah. over there, you do it, and then you know she pops out of the out of the fucking yeah. kitchen with a turkey. Yeah. yeah. You know how fucking long that <laughs> I'm gonna buy one of those piece of shit <laughs> star showers. <laughs> and the other thing too is like they live in like the woods. So there are no neighbors to fucking see it. Like they're they just want to see it. It's about it's for them, not for the neighbors. Oh, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just see the tree? You told me you were all fucking jazz for the holidays. Yeah, but I didn't put it up. Like, I, right, but I thought that would inspire you enough to get your mom a fucking thirty dollar projector. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it breaks, how long do you need it for? Uh, it's not the money. I, I'd pay, I'd pay sixty bucks to end the conversation. About it. <laughs> <laughs> From your loving son. Yeah. <laughs> Let's never talk about took, it again. I just took him to a fucking Broadway show. I took him to fucking to, to the big Christmas tree. How much do I got to do? Mm. By the way, they have at the entrance to every Broadway theater 
a bomb sniffing dog. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have to get sniffed by the dog before you go into the theater. Isn't that mm. cool? Even in some even celebrities. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> all right how long we've been going hour and 13 minutes oh, or let's so. wrap it up we're gonna talk some business we got we got some business to talk tonight right yeah we got uh, do you have anything to, do you, you want to talk about i actually i just want i wanted to i want to, I want to ask you this too q before you go this is to yeah. me yeah i, I really no want rush. your guys opinion especially your opinion mm. because <laughs> um you're 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 not as um I'll tell you why when I talk about it, though. But okay. you're, you're, you should have. I think you would have the mindset of, of what I think is should be the mindset. All right, go ahead. We'll see. Um, I was wondering, like, post comic book man, right? That's after. Um, yeah, you get an offer to be on Celebrity Wife Swap. <laughs> They're going to pay you a million dollars. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, but these are the people you have to pick from. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> I had uh, Mama June. Snooky, Kate Goslin, or Caitlyn Jenner. Well, but neither one of how many of them are really wives though? Don't they have to have a real wife? They have to be married. Well, Snooky's married. Okay, so she's well, Kate Goslin's dating Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, Caitlyn, Mama June allowed her daughter to get molested. And Who's Mama fucking, June? She's uh, Honey Boo Boo's mom. Oh, okay. she was one like her daughter got molested, and then she, after the guy got done serving his sentence, she moved the guy who molested her daughter into the house, which is why TLC canceled the oh, show. Boy. I mean, it was unbelievable. Mm. Snooky's, uh, you know, an animal. Way to way to kill the fucking gravy train, too, huh? I mean, dude, dead <laughs> as fucking stop. It was unreal. Um, Kate Goslin, who is now coming back with another show, I couldn't fucking believe that people cared enough that it's like. Kate, you know, plus eight, and uh, now she's going to date. And it's like, uh, but why she goes you, on a romantic helicopter ride and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I thought people didn't like her anymore. I but why? But, I don't, but she fuck. doesn't have any real, like, she hasn't done anything scandalous, though. I mean, the biggest scandal she has is that her, her marriage broke up, but she hasn't done anything where people should hate her. Well, I, I mean, one, she I've, I've read anyway. But she pimped out the kids? She's a total bitch, yeah. And I mean, pimping out the kids to to sell, you know. Yeah. The show. I mean, I, I can't believe that America has not had enough of it already. And uh, Caitlyn Jenner. I, that's the one I think I would go with. I think that would be the most interesting. Who's Caitlyn Jenner again? Oh, that's the one that, that's the, the sex change, right? Yeah. That's the one? I think she's the most tolerable this, out of these three people. This is helping Four big people. time on Reddit, too. Yeah, Reddit. Just uh, <laughs> you know, I just want to repeat. <laughs> you know, I'm transgender friendly. <laughs> Um, a million dollars. They don't pay that much on a celebrity no swap, way. do they? No way. But yeah. I knew it would take a million yeah, <laughs> to actually do something. Yeah, I mean, they're all probably – I actually bet you Caitlyn Jenner is the most like sufferable one. The other three, I'll bet you'd be like, I want to knock them the fuck out right away. I don't you gotta sleep I don't in the think same I'd bed. Think that. No, Why I don't. I don't. I think no, it's, they I, don't make you actually swap wives. No, like I mean, that. I, mean I would not fuck them, but like, do you sleep in the same bed or I just think, or think just argue, argue knowing, with their kids the whole time? I think it's a ima- just just imagine how our show is. Right, it's probably the it's, same. It's they need they need yeah. fucking. They need a little bit of drama. Like, hey, how about we do this? How about right. we do this? The how kid. about you get mad at me when I say this? And, right. You know. Well, if you go with Kate Goslin, you got eight kids telling you to go fuck yourself. Like, the second you're like, hey, why oh, don't I, you do this? Well, all those uh, kids are are uh, kind of like every uh, single sh- smart Every alecky? single one I've seen, like any wife swap, like clip, it's always the kids like resentful that some other dude is like telling them what to but do. Yeah, or but, sometimes the wife is telling them what to do. Yeah. But they do realize, the kids realize it's just a temporary swap, right? I guess so, but they're like, this is fucking crazy. This is worse would, than putting a fucking would, shit which is on my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> for a million which is, dollars, which, I mean, you would do it for a million dollars too, wouldn't you? I'd fucking live with all four of them for a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. <laughs> 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 Move to Utah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you guys. Uh, Star Wars is coming out. I can't next wait. Next week, right? You have your tickets? I do not have my tickets. Neither do I. I'm going to go to like a shithole. Then you're going to have to wait. <laughs> no, it's playing like every half hour. Yeah. Oh, I heard tickets are sold out in like in the theaters. You Some probably theaters aren't see even it. aren't pre-selling even tickets. So I'm going to go see it in a theater that like is like low rent. And I, uh, I that probably doesn't even – it's not probably not even in stereo, but at least I'll get the same Yeah, I, I go to the same theater every day. Every Not every day, but every Do you time think I it's go. overkill that like that um, theaters are saying like, well, you can't dress up. 
and you can't do this and you can't do that. I didn't know that. There's a there's that came down that you can't do any dress came, up. Came down yeah. that you can't dress I up and, that. and go into. They the don't want people like bringing blasters, and it turns mm-hmm. out to be a real gun, right? But I, but it's the I, world we if, live in, unfortunately. But yeah. if you're going to bring a fucking gun in, it doesn't matter if you're fucking dressed up or not. I mean, the the guy who shot up that that was it the Batman movie, mm-hmm. yeah, or whatever. Well, he came he, in. He the came in a fucking side door yeah. and started shooting people. It's. I, I just hope God. I just a hope terrorist one. If I can't fucking dress yeah. up like Jar Jar Binks, <laughs> <laughs> I hope the movie's good. Well, that's this is my question regarding it. Um, yeah. The world is excited, right? America, especially. Yes. On a scale of one to ten, what would you put this? The excitement factor for me. Uh, for well, world? for you, and then for the for the country. Well, okay, that's a good question. I'd say the country is a fever pitch. Ten. The country is a straight ten. Okay. I believe so. What about you? Uh, I like – it's part of a broader thing. I like that I'm seeing a Rocky sequel and a new Star Wars movie starring Harrison Ford in the same month right. in, in my 40th year of life. <laughs> so I'm probably in like a seven. But I I remember the fucking lessons that Phantom Menace taught us, which and, was like and when do you, not get to a seven. You know what I mean? Like, well, what were you when Phantom Menace came Phantom out? Phantom Menace was, I was probably like a ten. Okay. Bri, can you give me your pulse? Um. I I believe that yes, yeah, Star Wars fever is um, pro- yeah around is that a 10? nine to ten. Yeah, and your pulse, there. mine. What would you say? Seven. <laughs> I said seven, just because of the inclusion of the old characters. I'm gonna if I had to guess, four. So close. I was gonna say five. At I was best. gonna say five. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. gonna say five at best. Still like, pretty good for you. Yeah. You know? Whatever. Well, I'm not dying anymore. I'm not gonna watch, <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> when if the movie? Well, what about you? What are what are your numbers? Three. Three. Yeah, I'm not excited, really. Okay, he's going to a shithole theater with no stereo. <laughs> yeah. uh, but this, uh, this, this got me thinking, this article about Star Wars and the merchandising. The, the expected merchandising sales are going to reach a whopping $5 billion in the first year of the movie's release. You, they bought the franchise for $3 billion. Okay. Jesus. Is there – but when is the backlash going to come from – because I thought that's what this – like America – it just you usually like to see like such gross marketing. I mean, it's absolutely insane what they're doing with Star Wars. I mean, you walk into every store, you're going to a fucking pillow store in the mall, and you see Star Wars items in there. It it is it's crazy. I, I agree. Like, there's tons of like you go into a food store, there's Star Wars. Yeah, shit. I mean, you, you can't escape it. it now. Is there is there an inevitable backlash to the Star Wars? Not with Star Wars. No, it I can't happen. So. I think Star Wars is uh, the Teflon that Brian Johnson used to have. Mm. I mean, because who, <laughs> who would still get excited about a Star Wars movie after those fucking shitty prequels? But here we all are. Everybody's going to see it. You know what I mean? But like, but you get what I'm saying. Like, usually the country only had, can only take so much of oversaturation. And like, yeah. you know what? We don't. We had enough. We don't want it anymore. Not with Star Wars, though. I mean, five billion dollars worth of merchandise. And who is – like I I've, I went to Toys R Us recently. I had to pick something up for Sage. And I see shit that I'm like, who the fuck is buying like, like what? a three-foot Han Solo figure, <laughs> a three-foot yeah. fucking this figure? Like it's crazy the amount of crap they put out. Like it's – they've made it so it's impossible to be a completist now. There's just so They're many They're doing stuff. makeup. They're doing – K Jewelers is peddling six charms of Darth Vader's head, Stormtroopers, and R2-D2, ranging in price from $50 to $1,000. Like Darth Vader's a – Who the fuck Holy wants shit. this garbage? People will. And you're, 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 I'm saying there is going to – I'm, I'm going to predict yeah. a tipping – if that movie sucks, you'll see a tipping well, point. Well, right. If that movie is fucking beloved, yeah, then, then just – then they'll just people just fucking chow that shit down, man. Yeah. But who will it be beloved by? Will it be beloved by the original generation or this generation? Because it has this, to be beloved by both to be successful. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be. You can't th- be beloved just by one generation. It's harder. I think it's who's it harder to win over the old generation or the new generation? Because the new generation has so much shit out there that they're like, ah, whatever, yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the old generation, it's like, well, I'm coming with expectations, you know? Which, uh, you don't think the new generation has expectations? Uh, not as high as the older one, I think. Like, I, I, I'm talking, I don't I'm know. talking I, about... That's like, ageist. High school. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Reddit. Um, 
Isn't uh, it though? That's the that's the exact but, well, it's the exact opposite. Of ages. No, age isn't. It's, oh, is it? You can be like, ageist against any age. Oh, against young, young people too? Yeah, but the, you remember these them. kids. <laughs> you're, you're saying that they have no expectations and they'll take. No, I'm saying their expectations aren't as high for the movie because they don't have like 40 years of. Yeah, but they grew up with, the, with that prequel trilogy. Remember, those kids don't some hate pe- those some movies. Some people did. Shh, there were huge hits. Whether, whether you liked them or not, they were enormous hits. Everybody yeah. fucking saw them. I and never saw the And those kids are. Uh, yeah, you don't. You don't need to know You're anything not about that. Them. Much. But those yeah. kids are what? They're 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 the adults now. Like they're not adults, but they're they're in their teens and shit like that. Like they're they're looking at it like I can't believe you don't have tickets yet. Are you? No. Are you? My schedule is just too. Uh, too no, yeah, that's that's fine. No, but I would. I would. Are you, you going to lean on it like a private viewing <laughs> from JJ? <laughs> yeah. <doubt that. laughs> No, JJ. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just assume that I'll be able to I got a tickets. star shower <laughs> gift I want to give you. $30. I, I got you the $60 one. Uh, I, I just assume that that's all hype, that bought out price stuff. I'll be able to just get buy a ticket. You think you, you don't think it's uh, sold out for weeks? I mean, I, I hope it's not. Some did is all, but but I know a scene that the, island fucking that doesn't do pre sale. Sixteen is not going to be fucking. Are you talking about the one that we used to go to as kids? Yeah, oh, I don't okay. don't mention it because I don't want anybody sn- oh, well, snagging yeah. one of my. It'll be swamped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we got we got one spot. You want to do the spot real quick? Yeah, we should. Yeah, um, a couple of weeks ago, I I went on and I. I admit it that um, the ads, uh, you know, I had uh, under my guidance, they had they had uh, not gone so well. Right, right? which I, I kind of I think you you too disagreed with. I thought I they were some of the most creative. Well, well this week I can safely say that this ad we're doing today for Casper mattresses, mm-hmm. yeah. we're getting it solely based on me because I have bought with the TSD code. Yeah. Four mattresses from them. Have you really? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, mo- I had to move out of my house. Yeah. Um, we all needed mattresses. Okay. And I need, and my brother in law needed a mattress, so ah. I brought I brought him a mattress with the uh, with the Casper nice. code. They are um, and I bought them one at a time because yeah. I wanted to wait and see what it was like. And so it's safe to say it's the. I'm not fucking bullshitting you. Yeah. I was holy, I tell you the honest truth. I told you the fucking ads were fucking shit. Yeah. For months and we didn't get nobody no conversions. Thanks, ghost pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was on, he was doing the Casper one. But the but the sole fact we got this Casper ad has to be from the fact that I that I entered the TSD code four, four time. times. How are the mattresses? Excellent. Really? I cannot I can Could you did, make did it your you, permanent did, mattress? Did you not get it? I one? took it with me. Every mattress that we took to the new house. Yeah. I brought back and we threw away the old mattresses. Get out. Was, oh, that's fucking awesome. I can I, they did send say, me one, but I didn't take it out of the box yet. Yeah, Sage has one. They sent me one. Yeah, it's and nice. Sage uses it. It's re- like it, so, it's comfortable so comfortable. That I, like, really? In the middle of the night, a lot of times I'll leave our bed and I'll just go sleep in her bed because oh, she wow. constantly comes She's, into our right. bed anyway. Well, I'm get, you know, I, I am getting that up. Like, yes, I need it. I just haven't opened the box yet. I'll, I'll wow. make this admission. I'm so happy to hear this. How many times have you thought about your mattress while you're at work? There are times that, like, when I know that, like, when, like, if it's cold and rainy out, and I'm like, oh man, I just wish I could go back home and go to be- and go back and lay down on my fucking new Casper mattress. Wow. It's so comfortable. I thought you were going to say there are times when, like, Mike was talking to me, <laughs> and even thinking about my mattress was more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would love to have said, tell him Steve Dave on that, but we got to give him where to go to get to get the mattress. <laughs> we got to tell people where to go to, to uh, if they want the world's most comfortable mattress. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go out. I don't think I'm going out on a limb when I say the world's yeah. oh, most wait. comfortable. Or I'll say this then. Let me let me caveat mm. the world's most comfortable foam mattress. Okay. And I, in, in my opinion, the world's most. I don't I don't want. I'll never use a spring mattress again. Wow. Ever. That's um, pretty good. You're not even winking at me or nothing. You're like you're, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. I 100 percent dead. Five <laughs> <laughs> and then wink. Right. No, no you know, there's no like need them. for me to wink. It is absolutely <laughs> the first product that I can I can this embrace. Is a wink-free endorsement. You know, mm-hmm. this is why. Uh, I mean, like this is said, a Casper house, <laughs> girls. Don't ever ask for another mattress. 
they're so, they're so like reasonably priced, though. Very reasonably priced. Yeah. Um, I, I, there's nothing bad about a, a, a Casper mattress. And if you want to go to get one and try it for yourself, you get $50 off any mattress by visiting www.casper.com slash TESD. Use the promo code TESD. You can get some screenshots of the Casper website to help viewers visualize. And um, I think that's for you. I mean, I it makes a big fucking difference sleeping on a nice mattress, man. It oh, really yeah. does. Yeah, doing anything on a nice mattress makes oh, a difference. Oh, oh I hear yeah, you, bro. I hear you. I mean, I don't get to do. It, <laughs> I hear you. We'll get that help on get the that shelf, on the shelf going, man. Yeah. Maybe yeah, that's true. <laughs> I like you better be good, bitch. <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, before we go, I oh. do have one last thing. Oh, I oh. fucked up bad. I fucked up bad really on one, two, up? three. And I forgot a sponsor. Oh. I forgot a sponsor <laughs> for a one, two, three. And I felt horrible after, I, after the guy contacted Nobody's me. Nobody's buying my painting. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, I'm sorry. I real, I almost, sorry I'm so glad I remembered. Um, <laughs> go to make up for it. A <laughs> tag as a footnote. People sh- <laughs> shut off. <up. laughs> oh, oh shit! I almost forgot again. <laughs> go to indiegogo.com and type in "Shadows of the Forest." And if you're interested in a, in a movie that's like Pan's Labyrinth meets um, uh, Nightbreed, it looks oh, like to me. Wow! If you're interested in getting behind that and maybe uh, helping out the production this. of um, "Shadows of the Forest," this guy's a loyal aunt. This guy listens to every episode, and like I said, I felt I when I when he emailed me, it was like, and I realized that I forgot to mention it on the on the one two three. Yeah, I wanted to go kill myself on my mattress. <laughs> you wanted to send him a cast for a mattress. Yeah. You're like, let me make it up to you, bro. Wow. So yeah, if you can, if any ants out there, just go check it out. You know, see see if it have, you have any interest in it. But it's a good ant, and I told him that I would make up for it by um, putting a blurb out here. Shadows of the forest. Indiegogo.com. Did he did he kick in two hundred bucks for the team and all that stuff? There was no there was no prize oh, for okay, the. Okay. Uh, he oh. has he has uh, he had a prize for the winner of the. Um, what was the prize? It was um, tickets to the sh- tickets to the show, tickets to a bro- to a play he's in. It's not on Broadway oh, okay. though. So he did have a nice prize package cool. for. All uh, right, well, thank you, buddy. And I forgot to do, and I forgot to do it, and I felt like shit. All right, do you feel better now? As good as it's gonna get. Yeah, we're gonna go. <laughs> what am I gonna go? <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave, again.